Bjarni Pedersen really making up some ground as he comes around the outside, but look at this! Here comes Andreas Jonsson around the outside, but in the lead, Jarek Hampel, or is he? No! Bjarni Pedersen picks it up! What a race! Wow, this pace is already going wild now, Jonathan. A tail, look at Bjarni on the outside, Lee Adams comes back to the inside. And Andreas the Jonsson's coming as well! Oh, it's all swapping paint at the moment! Yarek Hampel back in his second place for a moment. Andreas Jonsson using the dirt on the outside, back in his second place, but finally leading. First time in a clear lead is Bjarni Pedersen. And the race still goes, the tipple's going hot. Andreas is working it. Look at that, Hampel comes back in the third place. What's Lee Adams doing? This guy's got all the experience he's trailing in last place. Well, it's the first time I've ever seen uh, Lee Adams so far back, but look at Andreas Jonsson now, really putting pressure on Bjarni Pedersen. Really going wide there, though, but look at the speed he's picked up. Oh! Johnson comes up the inside of Bjarni Pedersen. That was total Gollum style here at Bidgosh. This is unbelievable race, and look at that. The finish goes to the guy that knows how to ride Bidgosh, Andreas Janssen. Ward burst into life the last time out when he won in spectacular style. Bezinski could be a danger on the inside. Here we go, it's heat number 17. And going into that first turn, it's Jonsson, it's Lindback in white. Jonsson has the lead, Lindback's going to try and go around the outside, but Jonsson has closed the door, and Darcy Ward has to pull off a dramatic oh! threat. He's just gone from first to first in one move. Where on earth did Darcy Ward find that from? It's Darcy Ward, Speedway's miracle man. This year, yep, he's going to try again, and Janowski has made a decent start. Now, which way will Lindgren go? He stays mid-track, he's following Janowski here, he's got a lot of speed and he's charging up the inside. Janowski keeps his nerve, Lindgren now is going to take him wide. Lindgren takes him towards the fence, oh! Oh, 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 oh! No room there, get out of the way! Janowski's going to come back for more! Get out of the way, I'm coming through now! And now Lindgren tries the inside switch, get out of the way, I'm coming through as well! Brilliant speed by eight ball, two riders, go oh! Janowski back to the inside. Fantastic match race here between the two riders. Janowski determined to stay in front. Here comes Lingwin round the outside again. Janowski's read it. Now Lingwin jumps to the inside. Whoa! Whoa! Down the back straight into the last corner. Janowski's going to do it. Janowski's going to get Whoa! there. Anyone would think that was. I think Hans Andersen's man in the white helmet. So practical ride. up the inside there, forces his way to the front, Andreas Johnson's up the inside too, this is second next stop, really forceful stuff from the Undane, Andreas Johnson's not out of it, and here comes the young pole into it as well, Rampala goes from last to second, unbelievable ride from him. And Anderson is the man in front, Rampala in second place, but Hamill comes back, and again Rampala, look at this, it's all over the place, tremendous rating, Hamill back into second place, a lap and a half to go, Rampala nicks it, the two tactical rides in front, Hamill hugs the curb, Hamill comes back again, and again Rampala goes through, oh this is amazing, are they dancing together, along the back straight they go, Hans Anderson in white, Gary Hamill is back in second place, Thomas Gollum to take second place in the World Championship. And away from the start, it's a good one from Jonsson. Jonsson won the previous round in Terenzano, Italy, and it's looking good here. Now Jarek Hampel comes oh, up. Oh, no. what a move from Jarek Hampel. Goes too wide, leaves the door open. Jonsson then fast back in the second place. Hampel now once again round the outside. Pierre back in third place. The Russians out of the back. Oh. Jonsson slams the door shut down the back straight for the second time. Andreas Jonsson has won six Grand Prix in his career so far and has the lead here. It's going to take something special from Yara Kampel to get the better of him now. Third place is Pierre. At the back is Saifudinov. Hampel is still having to go. Two races in one here. At the front, at the back. This is brilliant on this Melilla track. Going into the last lap, it's looking good for Andreas Jonsson. The Swede looking stylish down the back straight. What can Hampel do? He's coming on strong into turns three and four. He's going wide. Has he got the pace down to the finish line? Oh, on the run to the line. What a performance from the Polish rider. He picks up the big 
is going to be desperate to get past Lindgren, but a great start from Lindgren coming off that second bend there. Yeah, Lindgren out in front, but the action's really at the back now. It's Jason Lyons and Andre Compton really having a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle down the back straight. Lee Compton in second place as he goes out wide into the dirt line to wind his machinery up now. Yeah, absolutely. Lee Compton really chasing the dirt, but Freddie Lindgren looking pretty comfortable out front as he gets himself uh, into uh, the back straight there, and Lee Compton just trying to dive around the outside of uh, Freddie Lindgren now, but uh, Lee Compton there just getting a real runner on Freddie Lindgren now, but not enough room. Lindgren shuts the door, and it's going to be ever so tight. Lee Compton around the outside, he picks it up, he's squeezing between the fence and round the outside. Lee Compton goes on Freddie Lindgren. What a fantastic move. Can he make this stick, Luke? Is he still on the back? I shut my eyes there. Lee Compton doing just enough to take the win. A fantastic performance from Lee Compton. I don't know how he managed to get between Freddie Lindgren and the fence, and Lee Compton punches the air. A superb performance, and what a fairy tale ending, Chris Moorcroft. Lee Compton doing the business and taking the win in Gary Stead's benefit meeting for the man who really brought him back into British Speedway in 2007. Just an amazing end to a fantastic night's nice racing. I've not been calling him the comeback king for no reason tonight at all. Five years out of British Speedway, started this season late, and he's won a meeting in that sort of style. Full credit to Lee Compton. What an absolutely sensational...